Hi, what's up, everyone? My name is Harry, and welcome to my channel. I finally cleared AWS Solutions Architect Professional Exam at the last minute of year 2022 and achieved all the goals which I set for myself. They include AWS DevOps Professional, AWS Solutions Architect Professional, Microsoft Azure Administrator, and Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect. In this video, I would like to share how I prepared for this exam and also some of the exam tips. Just want to mention here, I will spend more time on my YouTube channel this year. Feel free to subscribe my channel and share the contents if you find them useful. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is the learning plan. Actually, the plan varies based on your experience. I don't spend too much time for this exam because I have already got quite a lot of experience on the exam requirement. And also, I did lots of learnings when I prepared the DevOps Pro exam a few months ago. No matter what level experience you have on AWS, I would still suggest you to have dedicated time every day to go through documents for each service. I spend two to three hours a day and I use video courses on Udemy because this saved my time and pointed me to the key information. Also, practice exam is very important as well. 75 questions in three hours is really tough. It's not only about your knowledge, but also your focus. You can buy practice exam from AWS and you can also buy them from Udemy. I did three full practice exam and spent lots of time to go through all the questions and answers. For the services that I'm not so familiar with, I usually go back to the training videos and do some hands-on. The second thing I would like to talk about is the learning materials that I use. For the training courses, I use the course from Neil Davis on Udemy. It has only 20 hour video, which is not so long, and he explained the knowledge in a very clear way. I would also recommend Dauphinet course, which has broader and deeper knowledge for someone who doesn't have enough experience on AWS. For the practice exam, I use John Bosso's one on Udemy. I would highly recommend this one as the explanations are very in details and clear. Do review the questions and answers after each test. For me, I usually do at least two reviews. First time, I go through all the incorrect answers. A couple of days later, I go through all of the questions again. Other than these, AWS White Paper Repository is a good place to start. There are two must-read white papers. One is AWS Well Architect Framework, and the other one is Web Hosting Best Practice. If you have time or you're interested, there are many good architecture blogs on AWS. Last point for learning materials, you can go through my media blog, which is in the description. I just documented the knowledge based on the importance and popularities in the last part of this blog. Finally, I would like to share some exam tips. One, slow down your learning process. This will help you digest the knowledge. Two, hands-on is very important. Make sure you get your hands dirty before the exam as reading can never replace hands-on for learning. Three, apply accommodation, which is an extra 30 minute exam time if you're not a native English speaker. This helps me a lot. Even if I can finish the questions within three hours, but it helps me to calm down and feel loose. Four, use the half price voucher. AWS doesn't require you to pass associate level exam for the professional one, but I would suggest you to try any of the associate level exam and get the half price voucher for the pro exam. Five, pick up the better time for your exam. I did the exam at home instead of the test center. This gives me quite a lot of flexibilities. I can choose the best time range for me. Six, meditation. I'm not a meditation enthusiast. But I found five minute meditation before the exam helps me to achieve better focus during the exam. You can have a try if you want. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comments and I will definitely reply whenever I can. If you find it helpful, please click the like button and I hope this can help more people to achieve their career goal. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.